Here we are for round one, losing the die roll. Our opponent chooses to play first and mulligans, and we have a very good start. So, after that we can go on the defensive and see how our, how our draw develops. I think I'm going to offer the trade here. I don't expect him to take it. Wouldn't make any sense to trade Deadly Reckless for an Arsonist. Now it's possible that he has something like titanic growth here, but I think I have to go for the Searing Spear. If he's able to block my Arsonist, then I not only lose one damage a turn, but all four damage, because I don't have another attacker for the flunkies. So I think I can afford to be a little bit more aggressive here. And if he doesn't have a Yeva to flash in, that doesn't sound like the strongest plan. Now, we sadly don't have one of our four drops here, flooding a little bit. And the question is if we want to drop the Wall of Fire. I guess there isn't a large cost associated to it. And we just have to hope that we can uh, do something better than him dropping his 4-4. Okay, he has something else. That's very good, of course. Okay, he just preyed upon. Okay, that's uh, actually developing quite nicely. We now have our evasive creature, and he's just spending his turn recasting the 4-4. If he has another, another prey upon, then the boar has some problems, but doesn't look like it. And once again, I'm going to use my removal spell if, uh, offensively. Don't think there's anything that gives plus one plus one, but can just tap out here. We know that he's light on creatures, so it's actually quite likely that he doesn't draw a red creature, or doesn't have a red creature at this point. Okay, he has another he has a geyser of his own to get rid of the blade tusk boar. And uh, we have lands and a wall of fire. And another another wall of fire, okay. Now this wall isn't going to be relevant, but we aren't playing wild gas. So I think we can just drop it as well. And that's of course very nice. I'm just going to drop the mountain as well. If we draw another one then we can attack for 9, making the arsonist le lethal. This looks like he might not have a solution to the Furnace Whelp. And I believe that that should be it. He's actually red-green, so our um, Blade Tusk Boars are worse 
and our volcanic strength is going to be quite good. I feel like we would want additional wall of fires only because he has shown a lot of canyon minotaurs and the primer dogs. We are already playing two and we drew both of them which was a lot but I think this deck could do with a third wall of fire but I'm not going to take out a creature that's able to attack so I think the most likely cuts are Krenko's command or Goblin Arsonist because both of them don't really accomplish all that much especially the command seems pretty bad I'm not going to need the defensive qualities of the 1-1 one -one if I have the wall of fire instead I think wall of fire and fire elemental instead of these cheap creatures should make this matchup a little bit better if it goes long I kind of like wild gas if we are in the danger of flooding but we have quite a lot of cards that prevent us from from doing so I also kind of like to have at least one goblin arsonist left in the deck so I'll try it like this. I'm going to be on the draw, so not expecting to flood. That's an interesting hand. If I draw a swamp, it's actually very, very good. And if I don't, I just have a 2-1 and a Searing Spear. But I think it's close enough that I'm going to keep it. It's definitely a card that you could mulligan, but I have six swamps and I can cast all my spells except for two basically and well the ones that cost more than four but it's actually a hand that has a great potential to develop So mountains are the worst cards we can draw, basically. So we already did draw two of them. And uh, it looks like he doesn't have anything. Now I do the swamp for the muck raider, but I really want to get the knight down. And f after that I'm going to keep open the regeneration mana. But I think it's too too important to develop my board at that point. If he has a geyser now, then I can always attack with the knight for 3 damage. Now he once again isn't going to be able to block this. What I don't want to happen is him dropping a Primadox and then immediately um, going with uh, Prey Upon because then my Muck Raider is, is just dead. But Wall of Fire of course gives me a very good blocker here. The question is what happens if he attacks with both. I think that would force me to do something either way. I don't really want to block with the knight here because it would also reduce my clock by quite a bit. So he hasn't shown any removal yet. I think I don't really have a choice here. He has shown Prey Upon, which is uh, of course fine if he uses it on, on any of his creatures. And he would need another land. Okay, he has another land. The Primadox or another 4 Toughness creature and the Prey Upon. And that's... I think I mean this is my best shot at winning. Could also have a five mana removal spell, of course. But okay, he didn't have it. So this was like the the crucial. Well, that that's kind of weird. I mean, usually you wouldn't show your opponent that you have a four, four toughness creature, because now I know that I need need my exalted creature. But that's fine. And Reckless Brute, of course, not going to be efficient, but it might deal the last points of damage I need. 
my opponent isn't going to expect it. Okay, that's pretty good. I could respond with Searing Spear, but that doesn't deal enough damage, so he has 7 damage right there. And he isn't even attacking with the other creatures, okay. If he doesn't have another blocker, I think I just Searing Spear his boar and try to kill him with the Reckless Brood. Okay, he does have another blocker. Now, that means I can't really use any of these really well. This is going to attack for 4 and he doesn't have a good block. So I bring him down to 4 with the Searing Spear in hand, which means that I can't cast the Spear simply because I need to know what I'm drawing as well. I could draw another Searing Spear and just kill him. That's a boar of my own. Now, could attack with the knight as well, but then he just blocks it with flunkies and the muckwader with the boar, and I don't accomplish anything. So what I expect to happen now is that he goes down to four, And then he tries to attack me with everything he has, which I then, oh, interesting. I then try to, well, prevent him from killing me by searing spearing his dragon hatchling, basically. But I didn't expect him to block here. So... I certainly need to regenerate because I need the creature. I need the 4 power creature. Well, it's only a 3 power creature, but it's still better to regenerate than to rely on something like this. And now, either way, he should be going all in of some in some way or the other. It's possible that he has a spell to kill me, a uh, Searing Spear or something else, but I hope that he needs the Hatchling to kill me. And he also has to spend 3 red to do so, which means that my Spear is going to be pretty good. And if he doesn't have a blocker as well, then my... Oh, Rancor? That doesn't do anything. Well, it would have done something on, on another creature, maybe, but on Rancor it just runs into Wall of Fire just as well. That's very interesting. I kind of like my chances now. Okay, what's up now? He He's going to deal me 9 and then play something? That seems crazy. What could he have? Something like a like a goblin arsonist? A pump spell? Well, a pump spell doesn't make sense. He just he could just kill me. I really don't know what he could have here. If he has a Flames of the Firebrand, I'm, I'm dead anyway. But if he allows me to go down to 1, then I have to keep the Searing Spear for, for a potential blocker.
I've really no clue I'm going to allow this And then he drops a 1 1. I, I really don't get it. So I Searing Spear the 1 1 and attack for aid. He probably knew that I had Searing Spear maybe from, from the time I needed um, when I decided if I needed to play it end of turn. But then I don't. I also don't get why he played rank on mock flunkies if he knew that mock flunkies wasn't going to get through. Okay, we won round one. See you in round two.